Europe's relationship with China is the big topic of the moment. From April 5th to April 8th, French President Emmanuel Macron visited China, and the shockwaves from that trip are still rippling out. The most notable thing about it wasn't Mr. Macron's photograph with the Chinese dictator Xi Jinping on the steps of Beijing's Great Hall of the People on the edges of Tiananmen Square. It wasn't the entourage of business leaders, cinematographers and musicians that the French president brought with him. Nor was it the presumably stage-managed enthusiastic reception from the Chinese students given to the president. Instead, it was Mr. Macron's interview on the plane on the way home on April 9th. During this interview with a handful of news outlets, Mr. Macron made his desire for a permanent break with America clearer than ever. He talked about Europe's strategic autonomy. He said he didn't want Europe to be a vassal of America. America is at least putting on the appearance of pulling away from China right now, and Macron made clear he does not want to follow. Instead, he said that Europe should become a third superpower. What's gained the most attention is the practical example of this split that he gave. Taiwan. In his statement, he took China's side, blaming America for any rise in tension over Taiwan, not China wanting to invade Taiwan in the first place. He said that Europe must not become followers on this topic and take our cue from the US agenda. It looked very much like he was throwing Taiwan under the bus. And a lot of others have thought so. Since his return, he's faced a whole lot of questions on these statements. On April 12th, on the second day of his state visit to the Netherlands, he reiterated his comments saying Europe is not a vassal of America and that Europeans have, quote, the right to think for ourselves. On April 13th, German Foreign Minister Annalena Baerbock arrived in China for her three-day visit. So far, she's worked to avoid being as controversial as Macron, while also avoiding disagreeing with him. Instead, she's emphasized Europe's unity in dealing with China. But this is a very prophetically important story. Talk of Europe becoming a third superpower will easily stand out to longtime trumpet readers. In 1983, for example, Herbert W. Armstrong wrote, For 50 years I've been crying out to the world that the Bible prophesies of this coming United States of Europe, a new united superpower, perhaps more powerful than either the Soviet Union or the United States. In 1956, he said that Europe will become a third power in the world. Trumpet editor-in-chief Gerald Flurry has also talked specifically about Europe breaking with America and instead entering a trade relationship with China. This is based on a prophecy in Isaiah 23 which describes a mart of nations made up of both European and Asian powers. This mart will shut out the United States from world trade. Macron's trip to China could prove a pivotal moment in the fulfillment of this prophecy. To understand it, read our reprint article The Great Mart of Nations and to keep up to date with this prophecy and key news events and many more, visit our website thetrumpet.com.